Disciples, attention! Allay your fears, she has returned. A battle lost. But this is war, young one, and you have many battles yet to come. The only question is, are you prepared to win? I'm not so sure here, so let's see you give me 20! Aside. No being a shadowy denizen of the underworld comes with certain perks, young one. Take, for instance, how, when you dash, nothing can touch you. We are the Unseen, at one with the darkness and the dead. I can evade anything, yes, but only for a moment, and even then, I can't prevail by dodging all night long. Yeah, I'd do it out of time if I was you. See the little trail when you dash? Once it snaps back, you're good to go again. The shadow follows. <laughs> Nay. Have you seen, Commander? Lord Charon's come to visit us. At last our supply lines are secure, and our counter-assault begins. Ah, uh, yeah. It's been quite some time since good Lord Charon visited us last. We'd better all be on our best behavior around him. But, uh, where'd you get all that supply line stuff? Why, he told me himself, sir. In his way. Oh. There's something up with those nocturnal arms of yours. A certain aura that's surrounding one of them. The Grave Thirst. A relatively simple incantation. I expected there was more to the connection between Knight's weapons and the dead. No wonder you can see it too. Come now. Not like I need eyes on the back of my cranium. But I can feel it in my bones. Want more bones yourself? Just use a weapon with the thirst. Commander. You once held a place of honor in my father's house, so you must know Cerberus, right? I found him in the morning fields, coated in miasma, heads to paws. Was he always prone to uncontrolled fits of rage? Oh no, he mostly sat around. We go way back, it's just... I kept strategically afar, seeing as he's kinda like a dog and I'm kinda like a bone. So now he's giving you some trouble, huh? It's not his fault. Kronos must have cast him from the house, put him out to pasture. I broke through all the grime and calmed him down, but he may need another cleansing soon. He never did like bears, just so you know. Strength. You're beginning to fill out that keepsake storage case, young one. Fine work, yet I must caution you not to collect just for collecting's sake. The act of giving is its own intangible reward. Nectar sours when it's offered with impure intent. Won't have a pure tent on my damn training grounds. I understand you ventured to the bottom of the sea. I too have been there in those depths, young one. But once, a while back, and briefly, I might add. Of course. You were a famous mariner in your mortal days. But then you finally met your end beneath the waters upon which you sailed? Nah, it was way more glorious than that. Commander, though it falls to us to keep the old traditions alive, may you partake of this nectar, unburdened by the weight of its significance. I'm most appreciative of both the offering and of the sentiment, and I summarily shall do my part. Behold, the luckiest of my possessions is in your possession now. You honor me, Commander. You have an animal familiar now. Well, your disciples are my disciples, young one. They shall be trained and cared for here while you're away, and they can fight me also if they like. Thank you. The incense and the smoking stuff from that altar of ashes over there, it's energized the shades about this place. And me as well. I'm pleased to hear it, Commander. Even a brief visit to the altar on a given night helps make me feel more prepared. Keep doing what you're doing over there. <laughs> while are you just joining up, welcome. You remained upon the surface for considerably longer than before. How was it? Any good? War rages above. The Olympians sent Heracles himself to contain the damage. Shades of the dead linger everywhere. So, not good, all in all. Shades of the dead? Sure sounds like more disciples we can use. Uh, sprint into him, will ya? Yes, sir. What ails you, young one? You have a look of consternation, which mayhaps my breadth of experience could alleviate. Go on, just spit it out. Oh, Commander. I was just thinking about all the reagents I still need. Some grow in different regions or require different tools. It's a lot to keep in mind. 
But you don't gotta keep it out of mind. That purple pack you carry all your stuff in somehow? Don't you got all your notes in there too? So if you don't remember where to nab something, check there. In fact, why don't you do it now? I do have notes on everything in there. Choose wisely, young one, ere you set forth each night. There's your arcana at the altar, your choice of nocturnal arms, your keepsake, your gathering tool, I mean, dang. It's a lot to consider when you put it that way, Commander. But my objective is always clear. Find the Titan, slay the Titan. Free my family. Free Olympus. Well, that was like four different things right there. Something transpired with the silver puddle back there, I could tell, young one. You're doing a perchance that of the fates themselves. I've revealed in the pool the aspects of the nocturnal arms. Not their true forms, exactly, but different ones with their own great power. Ah, the nocturnal arms. Your brother, he once used their counterparts, and those ones too turned into other stuff. Well, if you need to test your newfound strength, I'm here. I know it, Commander. Vanguard of the Underworld. How fared your recent surface sea journey, young one? I still remember well the boundless waters there. How blue and tranquil they were. Tranquil? My experience was not exactly that. They were tranquil, damn it. I sense a great weight bearing down on you, young one. Not quite as bad as what old Atlas got, but still. What do you advise as my next move, Commander? To pursue our enemy in the underworld? Or come to the aid of Olympus? Well, not to be all greedy here, but... I say go wherever you can get the stuff you need the most right now. We got some stuff down here they don't got up there and so on, right? My disciples, they were given quite a fright when that pitch black stone there suddenly lit up. You know what it is, do you not? A shard of purest darkness from the depths of chaos. In its countless facets, countless outcomes. Perhaps none of which the fates have preordained. Uh, yep. I let the Titan have his way. Could always use some new disciples here. See any shades of the dead out there just loitering around, remember your training, and sprint right into them. They'll come around. They'll more than come around, sir. They're prepared to join our fight. By now they know exactly who I am and what we stand for here. And see ya. Your eyes do not deceive. Near the gateways out of here, you'll find none other than the Oath of the Unseen, I think it's called. Ask me not whence it came. Instead, ask just how tough you really are. I earned the right to look upon the oath, the testaments of night. Do I dare speak the vows, and thereby spread the fear that darkness brings? Come on, what are you, scared? Those nocturnal arms you got, they're probably gonna love that fear and testament type stuff. I say give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? All mortal kind condemned to never-ending torment and despair? It's gonna be fine. Go! She's here. Come on, you slackers. Straighten up. We all saw you disappear into that pitch black stone. Another means by which you may spring into action, retaining the element of surprise. Pretty nice. That stone has been here all this time. It's so much more than a monument tonight, and its origins even more ancient. But I never considered it a weapon in our arsenal. Well, not like you can crack me over the head with it, but yeah. Something's changed about that altar of yours recently, and you have been at it more and more, young one. Mayhaps awakened newfound power there, or what? I've consecrated the ashes and gained insight into the potential of the Arcana, Commander. Requires a little moon dust and a lot of focus. Perhaps the other way around. Moon dust? Think the old broker started pawning off that stuff, though I have heard it's possible a witch like you could brew it up herself. Sounds like you better stock up. I probably should. Hey, by the way, I meant to say nice going on occasion of achieving your objective and all that. You did achieve it, right? Show Kronos the what for? I was able to defeat him, yes, Commander. But my ultimate objective is far from complete. Ah, well, that's objectives for you. Soon as one's complete, along comes another. But you are gonna keep knocking him dead. How goes it with the never-ending torment stuff, now that you got that oat thing over there? Those nocturnal arms of yours, they must be having a great time. The arms of night. They are reacting to the oath, I think. Growing stronger as the testaments are carried out. Drinking the very nightmares born of mortal's fear of the dark. Now that is what I like to hear. 
Even in all your wisdom, Commander, how is it that you know so much about the Oath of the Unseen? As far as I know, it predates even my father's rule within the Underworld. Oh yeah, your papa took a different tack. Was out about his packs of punishment. Even served a brother with him once, when they were really on the outs. But Boyo just went for it, and then things really heated up. You didn't answer my question. And I'm not gonna, for I made certain vows myself. Word reached me that this past night you achieved what you set out to do, young one. Major congrats on that. To all my disciples and myself, salute you on a job well done. Thank you, Commander. Though this was a step toward victory, I never could have achieved if not for all the training and counsel from Headmistress, Odysseus, and yourself. And she even gives credit where credit is due. The monstrous power of the Moonstone Axe is yours. There isn't much out there it couldn't chop clean through, including me. It's got some heft. Your path is fraught, young one. Know that I am always here to let you vent all your anger and frustrations upon, as well as to train with. The greatest teacher is out there. Observe how patient my disciples are, studying your every move. If ever you're inclined to give them a demonstration of your prowess, or just want to blow off some steam, do not hesitate to wail upon me. Wail upon, sir? I trust that the enchanted toot I proffered you has proved invaluable. Although since you're already back, perhaps it wasn't quite invaluable enough. I'd surely not have gone as far without your keepsake, Commander. Though, why is it known as the Luckier Tooth? Was there another of its kind? Oh no! It is truly a unique artifact procured in my travails. An artifact with which you'll cling to life as might a sailor on a sinking ship. Your myriad accomplishments thus far are nothing in comparison to that which you now stand to gain, young one. Eternal glory can be yours, if you but prove your worth. The patterns on that drapery, the secret gifts of the Veil, bestowed on Knight's most dedicated servants. Commander, what are they doing here? Shades are never to look upon them. Well, let's just say the rules have lately changed. Those gifts, as you refer to them, are yours to earn. Provided you can do the stuff the Oath of the Unseen would ask of you. Which, as you probably surmised, shall be no simple feat. Perhaps a test merely of greed and arrogance. To overextend with the Oath may put my task in jeopardy. Come on, don't be such a baby. I mustn't look. So are you gonna earn the gifts of the Veil over there? Or squander your chance to get some of that eternal glory? Eternal glory? If such a thing may come to those who manage to achieve extraordinary feats, so be it. But to chase glory as a goal unto itself? That can't be right. At least, it's never been our way. But our ways can change, wouldn't you say? We mustn't become mired in the olden ways of doing things. Though I don't mean to pressure you, kiddo, it's just... I think you ought to get what's yours is all. I'll think about it. Ah, the memories, young one. Your brother thusly used to favor me. And for his sake and yours, I shall accept this. Now please accept my gratitude. Hey, thanks. You are most welcome, Commander. And hey, thanks to you in turn for your peerless insight and steadfast presence. Halfway to victory, young one. But to earn the gifts of the Veil, one must conquer the underworld and the surface realms upon a fearful night each in turn. You up for it? For the glory of the Underworld and the everlasting rule of night, I would do everything in my ability. Whether that makes me worthy of the gifts of the Veil, I know not. Come on, what kind of attitude is that? You did the surface already, now you just gotta do the Underworld and the gifts are yours. First one of them, at least. Come on, do it. Commander, there must be something you could tell me of my brother. The stronger my connection, the better our chances. You knew him, didn't you? I knew your brother, yeah. Good kid most of the time. He wouldn't want you to be so hung up about him. What he'd want, more than anything, I think, is for you to hit me as hard as you can, repeatedly and often, and that's what I would want for you as well. Ugh, very well. I'm most appreciative of your generosity. Would that I had more to give you in return besides the wisdom of my vast experience. 
please, sir, that is more than enough. Your disciples and I are fortunate to study under you. Way to go with that tablet apiece, young one. Our ranks are beginning to swell with shades who may yet find great purpose in their immortal coil. Their lives, such as they are, will only improve once my father is restored to his rightful throne. Oh, there's no doubt of that. But first we fight! The deed is done. And now, unto the champion of night, the spoils. Oh! Commander, is that supposed to be... me? It is night's champion, foretold by fate. She who shall strike fear into the hearts of those who stand against the realm and stuff like that. I can see you're at a loss for words, such as the splendor of her likeness. And this is just the first of them. Indeed. And are the other gifts just as, um, detailed? Either way, I'm not so certain I can handle twice, let alone three times the glory, when my task is difficult enough as it is. Ah, so then the fear is getting to you. Do not give in to it, young one. Instead, give in to curiosity about those other glorious gifts. Think it a prestige. Now you can be a little scaredy quitter, or Knight's Champion, which is it gonna be? Do I have to decide this instant? Nah, you think however long you need. She sure looks strong. Ain't she a beaut? Now, young one, avert your eyes, lest you be smitten by the glory over here. Oh, wow. Commander, I... I'm rather at a loss for words, I think. Though I am honored, truly. Oh, you better be. You got any idea what I... I mean, the fates must have gone through to put these things together. But Knight's Champion deserves only the best. Which is that last one you haven't seen just yet. My mind reels at the thought of a sculpture in excess of those. It's covered in Knight's drapery. What's to stop me from merely taking a look? Apparently you've already seen it. Sounds like you might not be Knight's Champion after all, suggesting underhanded tactics such as that. You want to win top honors, you gotta have honor. And that means no peeking. Are you gonna use the oath again or what? I don't know. All this still strikes me as a bit unwise. While I value your encouragement and am inspired by your words of validation, perhaps I shouldn't be so quick to pin my sense of self-worth on accumulating material possessions. Come on, young one, you mustn't speak that way. Wait, what? She did? But how would the... Okay, she's here. Shut up! Am I officially Knight's Champion? For your extraordinary feat, the most extraordinary gift of all. Huh. I... I'm deeply honored, Commander, to be in service to the realm and to have earned such... provocative sculptures. I thought art was about the expression of beauty. I never realized that it could inspire so many... complicated emotions. I got a lot of complicated emotions just thinking about what it took to get those things in here without you noticing. But anyway, congrats. We'd have a feast in your honor or something, but uh, nobody's supposed to know about this stuff. So it's gonna have to be our secret and all that. So does this mean I truly am Knight's Champion? And eternal glory is mine? You better believe it! Okay. <laughs> Past, present, future. The gifts of the veil. Watch out with those, will ya? Second gift of the veil is almost within reach. Could actually just go right up and touch it. But but anyway, are, are you prepared to use the oath and go the other way? I don't mean to leave you in suspense, Commander, but we'll just have to see. I must not partake in such extravagances, for my disciples are counting on my clear-eyed counsel and undivided attention. But tell you what, I'm gonna save this one for later when I'm off, okay? What you call an extravagance, it must be nothing compared to the luxuries of my father's house. Yet you never want for anything, besides the occasional hit or two. 
How have you lately fared against the lurkers and the serpents all that way down in the watery depths? Knowing of them and squaring off against them are two very different things. They're significantly stronger than the lost souls lingering around here. They have no sense of fear at all, attacking without any hesitation. They're basically just walking fish, young one. Not much for conversating, but they'll stick you with a trident just fine. Don't you let them. Commander, would you be willing to accompany me to the springs sometime? We could rest our weary bones a bit. What are you gonna do? Carry me? I am required here, young one, for these shades still require discipline. Mayhap some other age, when all we hold dear isn't at stake. One must at times hold fast to one's emotions, and at others know to let them loose. And when you want to let them loose, or try out one of them nocturnal arms, know that I'm here. This anger is for Kronos, sir. Ah, to have felt the deadly sting of the sister blades. Mayhaps these are the sharpest blades with which I've ever been sliced. Huzzah! Another glorious victory, another well-earned gift. To think the gifts of the Veil were those statues. I always thought it was the Veils themselves. The draperies sewn with the finest fabric of the Fates. Where are they, anyway? Oh, those? We, uh, sent them back into the shadows once they came. They were just packing materials, you know? You got the real deal, I swear. I still cannot entirely believe that Knight would honor me with such an ostentatious display. Although, perhaps these gifts are less for me and more for those who serve our cause. Now that you mention it, the Shades do like to gawk at them when you're not here. You get to inspire them even if you're not around. That's not eternal glory. What is? These Shades are inspired because I went out of my way to use the Oath of the Unseen purely for personal gain. Yeah, they're easy to please. But not you, apparently. Jeez, I didn't know Knight's Champion was gonna have so many questions out of time. You want the statues or don't you? I... I do. Good! Because we can't send them back now that you open them up. What? What? 